Hello guys, welcome to the Thoughts Party. I hope you are doing extremely well. Today I'm going to talk to you about picture perfect couples and families that we see online and on TV that we wish to emulate. And we look to them for their relationship tips and their relationship goals. But what happens when these couples that we deem as perfect all goes wrong and what happens then well what happens is we put too much hope in them we don't know that they're human beings and that they can fall short too well in your own relationships how did you do your vetting before getting into relationships or if you're not in a relationship what do you plan to do when you get in a relationship Are you going to be asking questions? Are you going to be looking for red flags? Why am I asking this? I'm asking this because Andrew Gillum and his wife looked like a picture perfect couple. They looked like the actual couple that would represent their community in the way that they wanted to be represented. Husband and wife, dignified, educated with three children. Andrew Gillum was on his way to becoming the governor of Florida. He lost by 1%. He was pushed through the Democratic Party with an endorsement by Barack Obama. Barack Obama has not even endorsed the presidential candidate currently, Joe Biden. So you can see how Andrew Gillum was held in high esteem from the national out front. He was held in high esteem, even to his own home state. He could do no wrong. Everybody looked at him and it was smiles all over. They were just so amazed to see a man from within his community represent himself with such dignity and such stature. You know, they were so impressed by him. But what happened? Forward to one week ago, police found him in a hotel room with a male escort that was known as a homosexual male escort. They found fecal matter and blood on the bed with with needles, crystal meth. He said he was allegedly there to help out a friend, but we see a censored picture of him completely unclothed, wearing nothing at all, completely he passed out, lying in his own vomit. Now, even if one was to say, oh, he was set up, how could you get set up to get into a hotel room with a male escort there? How does that all add up? And then lying in your own vomit if you've been injected with an IV of drugs, let's say. How does that all add up? How did you find yourself there? Okay, after being drugged, what was the homosexual escort doing there? Why were you in that hotel room? Why was the place trashed? Why were you completely unclothed, naked? And then he has later on followed up with that allegation. And he's actually admitted that he is absolutely, completely sorry for what happened. He's apologised to the Floridians, to the nation for their support of him and he is seeking rehab addiction. So I leave it there. Make your own decision. When you see picture perfect couples and you are so overwhelmingly joyed overjoyed find out is there a void within yourself do you not seek to ask more questions for your own relationship 
Do you just want the picture perfect? Do you not know that you will go through trials and tribulations? And that even when you meet the one, like the video I spoke about, ways you know that you found the one, when you meet the one, you will have trials and tribulations. And you need to make sure that you'll be able to go through that with the one and that he, that one person will be the one to comfort you. And if they are putting up a front, they are appearing to be something they are not in the case of androgenum. How can this lady now go through the trial? Knowing and thinking that this is what she's been married to. Now, can you think of the way that homosexual community is advised about HIV and AIDS? If Andrew Gillum has been involved in these experiences and these relationships, what could the possibility be that he's infected his wife? Do you see how if you don't vet or do proper soul searching of yourself, knowing why you're going into what you're going into the, for, the, for the good reason or for what intent? You need to ask yourself these questions. You need to ask your partner. This is serious. You need to look at red flags. You need to look at the way people compose themselves. Andrew Gillum is a CNN commentator. And I have said time and time again that the way he communicates, I've kept on saying, hmm, it looks a bit fishy. I'm not going to lie. His posture, the way he enunciates his words, the way he goes on. I said, hmm, this looks fishy. And to my surprise last week, what was he doing? In a hotel room with two male escorts, homosexual male escorts. And he was completely butt naked, lying on the floor, lying in his own vomit. And there was faecal matter and blood on the bed. You know, you just don't fall into situations. Relationships, just because you don't want to be single, number one. And number two, because you want to follow some sort of wave going on. Like maybe, oh, I want to be in um, an interracial relationship. I want to... I want to progress with this black love. Don't ever fall into those categories. No way. No way. I'm sure Gillum's wife may have seen red, red flags. But she glossed over that. Why? Because people put themselves under pressure and people want to keep up with appearances. They want to present as being in a picture perfect relationship when they are not looking inwardly and seeing what could go wrong in the future and the disgrace that could unravel is much worse than facing up to the truth and leaving the relationship behind before you go to walk down the aisle, before you have kids. Think of the kids. They're go three children they have. They're going to school, okay? And what if... I mean, little kids come up to them and, and bully them about it. It's all over the news, okay? Well, their local news, Florida news, and this Daily Mail article that I'm going to put down below in the description box. You cannot run away from something like that. And think of the disgrace for the wife. Their wedding was the ultimate picture-perfect, you know, lovely wedding. What happens? How do you explain this? So before you get into relationships, please look, even love is blind. Lauren and Cameron vetted themselves. They truly connected on an emotional level. Connect on an emotional level. Let the physical attraction be there. But please put more emphasis on the emotional. And on your values and what you uphold as being the right standard. Do not gloss, gloss over communication styles that look iffy to you. If a man is talking, look at the way he's talking, look at the way he's speaking, the way he's conducting himself. Do not gloss over these open signs that are presenting themselves to you. Do not just look over it because what you look over will appear later on. 
down the line when you least expect it. So as always, seek God and ask him to come into the relationship. Ask him to bind you together and ask him to reveal to you the hidden things that you do not see before you walk down the aisle, before you get in close, close contact and have kids and just have a family before. That's all I can tell you. Picture perfect is beautiful, but also look at the process before. So I will leave it there for you guys. As always, on the Thoughts Party, offer your suggestions, offer your opinions and your thoughts, and we welcome them always. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.